Hello lovelies. I have a new pick a card. Um, also, I would like to let you know, I do have donations up on my page. It'll say donate blessing button. And then you can donate whatever amount you'd like. The donations go to helping pay my bills. Um, right now, I'm just trying to find ways to make money to pay my bills at the moment. So, um, and take care of my guinea pigs as best I can. Um, but that's what those donations go to. Um, and among other things, they do help me be able to keep continuing to do these free readings as well so that I can also um, afford whatever deck that I feel may help my viewers. Um, I've actually got an image of one deck in my mind. I, a lot of people see it around. It's It's got a whole bunch of decks in it. I always see it on a whole bunch of other YouTuber channels as well. But, um, I'll post more about my favorite decks as well, but I enjoy all my decks. Um, however, let's go ahead and get started. I have placed crystals in front. This is deck one, this is deck two, this is deck three, and this is deck four. Um, selenite wand, lipidolite wand, um, fluorite tower, this is triagate and lipidolite stone. Um, so go ahead and pick away oh and I will add the donation in my um, in the bio as well um, and uh, go ahead and stay tuned for more because I'm gonna be doing this whole video on how I keep my motivation so that hopefully um, you guys can benefit from it so that you guys can learn how to keep motivation as well if you feel like you can't learn to keep motivation. So um, let's go ahead and get right in. Thank you for watching in advance. All right, so I'm going to set these other decks aside and I'm going to get right into deck one. Woo! I'm going to go flying now, huh? Yeah, these are a couple of my favorite tarot decks, in case you're wondering. So, Tarot Illuminati and the Starman Tarot, they're beautiful. Um, okay. So, here we go. Alright, make sure I have this and this. Where's the other booklet? This. Okay, cool. Sweet. There's a couple of them that I'd like to read out loud from the booklet for you, because I feel like it may give you more understanding to your situation. Okay, for those of you that pick the tree, a gate, and a bit of light. You're a good soul. You're a good person. Someone may have been treating you badly, though. First feeling I'm getting. Oh, let's see what's going on. Oh, catch your cords. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. See what else we got. There's somebody toxic in your life. You I don't know who this is, but there's been somebody toxic in your life, or possibly you're toxic towards yourself. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, toxic in your life, definitely. Okay, all right. Okay, here we go. So tell me, what brings you to the Your father in town owned it? Okay, thank you. Okay, so I am prompted to immediately tell you about this and that I will pull a Romance Angel card for you afterwards. Love life. The basis of your question involves your romantic life, which is now changing for the better. So basically, it's telling you that it's changing for the better. So maybe you guys were wondering if your love life was going to change for the better. The answer is yes, but you have to do some work first um, for it to change the better. And part of that work is, it's saying, cut your cords. Okay? This is the Angel Therapy deck by Doreen Virtue. And um, she plans on discontinuing her decks soon because she's kind of had a 
change of heart on her beliefs. So if you guys want to get a hold of the deck, um, go ahead and reach out for that deck. Okay, so it says, Ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that stem from past relationships, freeing yourself from destructive patterns. So you may even have some self-destructive patterns where um, you may believe what some other people say to you and then you like... I feel like some of you beat yourself up for, like, I'm hearing not manifesting as quick as you would like. Okay. And what I am being told is that you have a choice to make. This choice is you can choose to continue on with the negative energy and the negative friendships because we have a detox your friendships here. And it says your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time. So be discerning about your associations and relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive. So I feel like this means choose to be around people that actually are supportive of you. And you have this choice right here to make on whether you are choosing to detox these friendships maybe it's even a family member that's being toxic to you maybe you need to distance yourself from a certain family member that just um is like very harsh towards you but either way you have someone toxic in your life and i'm also hearing that there may be a bit of jealousy from somebody in your life and so what I am asking you to do is actually you can call on Archangel Michael and God or whatever you or whoever you believe in as your own God or the universe. Archangel Michael is great. Like I said, Archangel Michael doesn't like, like our Archangel Michael doesn't decipher religions. Archangel Michael is simply a protector, an angel protector, okay? So you can call on Archangel Michael to help you cut negative cords. And you can also call on Archangel to help protect you from jealousy. And also to help release your own jealousy as well. Um, he's very good at guiding you on this path of just protecting you from negativity. Another thing is, I do have a detox and purification um, thing as well. It's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life. So for some of you, maybe you're drinking a lot of soda. Maybe you need to cut back to maybe one soda a day or something like that. Um, and I'm going to tell you a little bit why, um, because I need to do it as well. Um, so you might notice that sometimes, because I'm feeling like that you guys may suffer from migraines as well, a big bulk of you. So you might notice that when you drink more water, you don't suffer from as many migraines. Like, but when you sit there and you drink soda after soda, it's just like, what the heck happened to my head? Now, a lot of you may also be going through spiritual awakening or kundalini awakening right now. Because I am also seeing this card. Spiritual teacher. Okay, your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality. Now, if these toxic people in your life do not believe on your here healing and spirituality um type thing don't try to awaken them okay because if you try to awaken these toxic people it's just going to result in um a lot more judgment and negativity so i am being told that you need to kind of like steer clear of those people that judge you you don't necessarily have to completely cut them out of your life if they're family obviously or something like that but you need to only you need to distance yourself from them and really focus on having people in your life that um do care about you and your well-being and don't try to judge you for what you do in life because let me tell you something if whatever you're doing feels right chances are it's divinely guided and it's right and i feel like a lot of you are kind of doubting whether um you're right or not 
And the, the answer is yes, whatever, you're having some kind of ideas in your mind right now. Some of you are having ideas and you're like wondering if you should go along with this idea because you know it'll be good for you, but at the same time you don't want to piss people off. No. You're not worrying about pissing people off. We're not worrying about pissing people off. Because if people are pissed off, that's just a reflection of what's wrong inside them. Something that they need to heal inside them. You want to know something? I'm going to tell you a little something. I had a friend that actually told me I didn't need any explanation to not go to her um, bachelorette party or whatever. Um, and I'm just going to bring this out. And she told me I don't need an explanation. And like... I kind of felt like a little bit hurt about that, but I think she knew that I wasn't going to be able to come, and I told her I wasn't going to be able to go to her bachelorette party because I don't have the money to go out and do those things that she wants to do for her bachelorette party, sadly, so I am having to step away from actually going to somebody's bachelorette party, but you want to know something? I'm not beating myself up for it because I know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to pay off my phone right now. I owe $420 to pay off my phone. Um, you know, I'm trying to pay my my rent and my bills, you know. I'm trying to pay for some medical stuff as well. So, you know, regardless of that, if you're trying to do something, I'm getting to my point here. When you're trying to do something and if somebody else is just like toxic to you, because you have detox your friendship. If somebody is toxic to you about something that you need to do for yourself, don't put up with it. Don't pay any mind to it because you know what's right for you. I'm sorry. That's a friend of mine. Um, <laughs> that actually scares the crap out of me. But you know what's right for you. You know you. And I feel like you, the bulk of you, you you've been doing a lot of inner work on yourself because we've got goddess in and insight so like I feel like you guys with this card with the silver card I feel like you may be seeing a lot of silver around you too um that's that's generally take that as a sign silver jewelry I'm hearing silver jewelry um, something with silver jewelry, there's something with silver jewelry going on here. Maybe you're coming across a lot of silver jewelry that, that seems to draw close to you, or maybe you're seeing a silvery type crystal. Um, I think the one that I'm thinking of is actually hematite. Yeah, that's what they're showing me. Yeah, that, that's it. That's that. That's exactly what. Because I'm seeing a silvery type crystal in my mind. You may have seen like a bracelet of a silvery type crystal. That's called hematite, and I feel like that would be beneficial for you because you've also got base chakra here. Okay, so um, it says choose only positive thoughts to describe your home, career, finances as your words determine your outcome. So it's also telling you to choose positive words and it's also telling you that you may need to do some work on your base chakra. It may be a little out of line, out of alignment, I'm sorry. Um, and hematite is actually great for your base ch chakra. So maybe that's why they told me that. So maybe you will resonate with with the base chakra because you like silver stuff. So if you've seen that silverish stone, um, that's a crystal somewhere. Yes, your answer is yes. That that's a good stone for you if you haven't gotten it yet. Yes. Okay. We've got do the work here. So some of you need to put into some work to something. I said it says it's not enough to dream or pray. You've also got to take positive action steps that you're being divinely guided to take. Consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish and lush, like a lush flower garden. So basically what this is telling you is that you actually need to work on your priorities, but at the same time, when you do the work, if you're trying to do some kind of manifestation, because we got the manifestation card and I'll read it to you. 
Um, when you're trying to achieve some sort of manifestation, you have to have the most positive outlook possible to manifest. You have to believe that it's already there, that it's already yours, and then it shall be yours. But, you know, you have to do the work to believe it's there. You have to do the work to stay positive. And if you're trying to manifest love life, which I sense you are with the love life card there, some of you are, not all of you, some of you, maybe some of you are just trying to work on a friendship. Um, if you're not working on love life, you're manifesting some kind of friendship going on. And um, what what is going on with um, this right now is you are being called to stay positive. Because if you, com if you stay negative on a certain subject, you're just going to keep seeing more negative. If you're seeing smoke, that's my incense, my frankincense. So it's very imperative that you stop focusing on the negative. And also, like, if you're really trying to control, like, everything, and maybe you're worried because it says utilize your God-given strength and power instead of fearing what other that others may try to control you, you may be trying to control everything or some other people may be trying to have some kind of control over your situation. I don't know what situation it is, but somebody is in a controlling energy where they're either trying to control everything or trying to control everything because they feel like they need something now. Okay, so um, let me tell you, the bigger the prayer, the bigger the manifestation, it may take a little bit longer, okay? But you have increased support right now, okay? You, you do have increased support right now. Um, your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened the doorway yes. to an abundance of help and opportunities. So as you stay positive, you will s receive and see more signs. You, you, like, like you got to pay attention to repetitive signs um, as well. You're going to see like more signs, like more numbers on the clock. What's that? Um, okay, you guys might see a lot of 1, 5s, and 3s because it's 153 on the clock. Um... So, um, yeah, you may see a lot of that. Just know that is the way your guides are speaking to you. And if you're, like, thinking about something in that moment, thinking about, oh, I think this is a good idea, and you see a number synchronicity or something like that, know. Know that when you see, like, a 555, five, five, a 55, five, a 33, three, or a 111, or a 11, one, you know, those kind of things. Um, some of you might even be seeing 1111. It just means that, 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 that things, yes, that, that's a yes from the universe. And when it does happen... It's just going to be like, on the spur of the moment, like quickly, it's just going to pop up. But you do have ceremonies and celebrations going on at the time of important life passages, such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, or anniversaries. Now, this could just be also something that you could have in your life to celebrate. And it's also about celebrating the little things that you already have in your life. So if you're not already um, seeing what you have in your life and being grateful for it, then um, you need to realize that you need to start being grateful for those kind of things. Because when you go on gratitude and gratefulness, let me tell you, whatever you're grateful to have in your life for, and you're and, and if you show you're, you're grateful for it, what the heck happened to my table? Um, then the universe is going to, I'm sorry about that, um, then the universe is going to dole you more of what you're grateful for, okay? If you focus on the negative, it's just going to dole you more of the negative. Um, other than that, we've also got um, employment change. Your career path is leading you to a higher direction with positive changes to support your dreams, priorities, passions, and life purpose. Trust that these changes will help you release the old and welcome the new. You are being supported each step of the way. So some of you may see a, um, an employment change or some of you may have had an employment change or some of you may have thought of doing something for an employment change that involves helping people. The answer is yes, that's, that, that's divinely guided and yes, your guides want you to pursue that. Um, but they're asking you to stay 100% positive. Thank you for reminding me about the Romance Angel for those that are in a relationship. So the Romance Angels cards, I am going to pull some Romance Angels cards since we do have the Love Life card out here and I feel like there's a love connection here. Um, and I'm going to pull what you need to know in this moment. I will pull two cards 
on what you need to know in this moment to help you with this relationship or anything like that or what you need to know about the relationship. So let's see. Can we get some romance angels for this group, please? So for those of you in a relationship, I'm going to pull the romance angels before I close the read. All right. Okay. Huh. Love yourself first because you are deceiving yourself. Okay? Okay? So here's what you need to know. Thank you. Okay. Um, so um, they told me to pick one more off the top. So we've got love yourself first and deception. No, this does not mean that person is deceiving you. This means you are deceiving yourself by not giving yourself enough care and love, okay? Um, this does not mean the person is deceiving you. This is you. You are focused on wearing a mask around too many people, okay? Too many people, you're focused on wearing a mask. Stop. Stop. Be the real you. Stop being focused on wearing a mask around people and pleasing people. Because the second that you sit there and worry about just doing everything because everybody else likes it, that's when you deceive yourself and you come into this negative energy of, oh my gosh, what, what, what was I thinking, you know? And you start berating yourself. Stop. Just stop deceiving yourself, okay? Then we got the reconciliation card. So, yes. If you're wondering if they if they plan to return, yes, they plan to return. Um, if if this is, if this is not a relationship, like I said, this could be a friend friendship returning to good health. So, like I said, you know, really focus on loving yourself, taking care of yourself, um, really letting go of toxicity because you need to know that you are beautiful and amazing just the way you are okay so hang in there believe in yourself believe you're beautiful okay next one is at 2202 all right deck number two is at 2202 that was the floor okay all right so those of you that picked the fluorite deck two okay Wait, no, this is deck. Yeah, this is deck two, right? Yeah, this is deck two, right? Deck two? Deck two. Deck two. Yeah, this is deck two. Okay. Wow. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is deck two. <laughs> That's right. Because deck four was Sal and I, and deck three was the light wand. Okay. Okay, some of you are very emotionally sensitive right now. Honor and respect your deep sensitivity as it is a gift to us all. So what you're being told is that basically this group of people in this group, you are empaths, okay? I, I feel this strong empathic ability. I feel like this group of people is an amazing empath. You are just a wonderful type of empath, okay? Beautiful type of empath. And oh my goodness, you are... I feel like you already know this, but you're a light worker, okay? You're a light worker. Okay? It is safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings you great blessings and loving service to the divine. So, you guys are light workers. Um, that's for sure. And I feel like some of you may be a little worried about some of your spiritual powers and what kind of impact they have on your life. Um, the answer is that they do have a positive impact on your life, but something is coming in divine timing. Something is coming in divine timing. Um, whether that is the fact that you are coming into your spiritual self, you want it or you're waiting for come, some kind of rebirth to something, some kind of rebirth to something, because we got the snake here. Okay. Maybe you guys are sitting here wondering, will I ever get married? The answer is yes. One, one day, yes. Some of you, soon. 
Some of you may just be high, uh, going to a new level of your relationship. All right. I feel like some of you want to try. Maybe some of you are looking at a dream career, okay? I feel like I feel like a big group of you is looking at a dream career. Dream, ugh, not a green career. Dream career. Um, and it says you can start working on your dream career part time while keeping your other job to pay the bills. Soon your dream career will take flight and fully support you. All right. <laughs> so that's what we got. So yes, if, if right now if you are trying to work on a dream career, work on that dream career. But at the same time, know that maybe keeping the other job is necessary to help you pay the bills. Um, just like keeping, like, disability is helping me pay the bills right now. <laughs> okay, so let me see. What else do we got here? Have the courage to ask for and accept help. Asking for help is a sign of strength as it is accepting as it is, as it is accepting it as it is offering it, it to you. Very often when you ask God for help, prayers are answered through other people. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, asking for help is a sign of strength as in accepting it is offered to you. Very often when you ask God for help, prayers are answered through other people. Be sure to accept this assistance as well as give it to others as you're guided. I'm sorry, I have Salem on on TV and I didn't realize, you know, it was so loud. I'm, I apologize. It's on Hulu if you guys want to check out Salem. So basically what um, you are being told to do is have the courage to ask others for help and have the courage to actually accept the help because like when you ask, when you when you pray, if you've done some praying, which I feel th this group of you maybe has done some praying, um, know that sometimes the universe or God or whoever you believe in does answer your prayers through other people. And so these other people may come to you wanting to offer help. My goodness, I'm hungry. <laughs> Random. Um, so, yeah. And also, we've got forgiveness heals. Time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness. So I feel like for some of you, you may have some kind of repress, repressed anger or guilt or something toxic, whether, it, whether it's something you need to forgive yourself for or something you need to forgive another for. But there has to be some kind of forgiveness um, because, you know, what this is doing is when you don't forgive yourself or you don't forgive others is you're sitting there holding this negative toxic grudge and it's bringing toxicity into your life and i feel like some of you already know this because it's become clear to you your true beliefs are becoming clear to you which prompts you to make necessary life changes so maybe some of you also are wanting to make some life changes to um grow and release negativity and really integrate and integrate into other people with like interests like like make more friends because this can also be like integrating with other people that um you know have like interest with you but this can also be like the snake is also symbolizing kind of like the end of a cycle and a rebirth of a new cycle or something like that um it really does signify that some of you may be seeing a lot of snakes in dreams this is signaling that some kind of revival, rebirth, or end of a cycle is at hand right now. And right now, you really need to work on empowering yourself, okay? We've got Dandelion here. And what this card is telling me right now is that you need to focus on your health. Like, majorly focus on your health. Focus on empowering yourself and other people um, because you are a light worker. Um, you know, it's just... I feel like you guys want to empower other people too. Some of you have been empowering other people. And if you are empowering other people, know that you're doing the right thing. You are because it's what you were put on this earth to do was help empower people and bring your love and light to this world. And, um, you know, I've got this listening card, so I'm going to go ahead and read it to you. It's from the Wisdom of the House Tonight Oracle deck. I'm not too familiar with this card yet as it's a newer deck. So I'm going to go on in, but sometimes people like to hear the message. Okay, 
Drawing this symbol indicates that you are meant to listen to what others are saying with their gestures rather than their words. In my house at night, there will be a beautiful girl with skin the color of dark honey who has the gift of poetry. She is able to weave tales with great detail and expression, yet without being obvious and straightforward. Reading between the lines and finding true meaning are what are required right now. Listen and learn. What others don't say is what is important at the moment. So I feel like this 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 is like focusing on trusting your intuition. Like, that's, you, you, you need to really trust your gut. Trust your intuition. Trust your inner knowing. Because I'm getting that a bunch of you are claircognizant. And since you are an empath, you can feel what other people aren't saying as well. Because I do see emotional sensitivity, which indicates that this group of people is a very powerful empath, okay? Um, empath and earth angel, some of you are. So that is what I'm definitely seeing. I'm seeing that you may be getting messages as well from books falling off the shelf. But also, books is also telling me something. Um, your life purpose involves writing, reading, editing, and selling spiritually based books. So maybe you're thinking about writing a book. The answer is yes, go ahead and write that book. If you're thinking about reading a spiritually based book, the answer is yes, you're being divinely guided to read it. If you are trying to get into writing, maybe write journal writing or something like that, journal writing would be beneficial to you to release some of your um, pent up emotions and things. Um, I'm, guess I'm getting that you guys may be having some kind of holiday coming up or something so the answer you're looking for can be found during a vacation, a retreat, or holiday getaway. This this could just be like when you're you're spending time alone in meditation. This this could be like when you're out doing something. Um, I don't. It it, it could be at, at any time. But you're going to get an answer. You're going to receive an answer, and it's going to be at some time when you're off of work. That's all I can tell you about that. But you're going to receive an answer about something. And, um, I don't, and it's coming in divine timing, okay? Whatever this answer you are is looking for, it's coming in divine timing. Um, that's what I'm being told to tell you. Now, we've also got the trust card and the focus card. So, I'm going to go ahead and read these to you because I feel like I need to read the oracle message of these cards to you. Um, okay. Instead of giving you my own, um, view on it just because... For some reason, I feel like you may understand what's said in the book better than what I have to say. I don't know why. But they're telling me to read the actual oracle message to you. All right. Trust. Believe in yourself and have faith that, the, that God and the angels are with you. Ask them to help you lose the fears that block you from enjoying full faith. Your angels know that you have been disappointed in the past. These experiences may have eroded your faith in yourself. Other people, or even God, however, the angels remind you of the importance of holding on to your faith. By drawing this card, the angels emphasize the value of self-trust. They know that you, like everyone, have made mistakes in the past. However, these mistakes have not eroded your true nature. You still have omnipresent God within you, and God is infallible. The angels ask you to trust God and to trust them. They will help you trust yourself. So what this is telling you is you've got to trust that the universe or God, whatever your belief, has your back. Okay? You've got to trust in yourself as well because I feel like some of you may barter yourself and, like, beat up on yourself for not being a good enough helper for something. I don't know. That's what I'm hearing. But some of you beat yourself up for, for not being good enough. It's time to stop doing that. You're good enough. You're good enough just as you are. The next card I'm going to read to you is focus. All right. Focus. 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 All right. Think about what you want, not what you don't want. Guard your thoughts carefully because they create your experiences. Sometimes it seems that your thoughts that our thoughts choose us, but this is never the case. We always choose our thoughts every moment. Our thoughts always have an effect and there are no natural thought n neutral thoughts one half second before you hold a thought you decide to hold it so with practice you can learn to monitor and alter your thoughts this is an equivalent of putting your hands on steering wheel 
of your life. You may believe that your concentration abilities are impaired, yet the infallible mind of God is within your own mind. You can experience remarkable feats of concentration by affirming, I am now able to focus my mind at will. I hold only loving thoughts, and my angels act as my gatekeepers in establishing a steady stream of thoughts and love. So what this is saying to me is that you really need to watch your thoughts because you guys are actually trying to manifest something. You guys are trying to manifest success with something. Um, and in order to do this, you have to believe you already have it. You have to believe it's already sitting right there in front of you. You have to, you have to believe it's yours. Okay. Um, I am going to tell you that if you're having manifestation blocks, please go check out Stargirl, the Practical Witch. She has some stuff on that manifestation blocks. If um, you're looking for any other information, go check out the Gem Goddess on YouTube as well. She has a great video on manifestation blocks as well, and I feel like it could be beneficial to you. And uh, so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and move on to deck three at... 3557. Okay. Those of you that picked the little light wand, let's see what your messages are. Okay. Well, okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to really do. Move that one out loud to you. Okay, some of you are in a negative situation right now. I don't know who is in this negative situation, but if you pick this group, some of you are in a negative situation that is uh, involving a lot of deceit. Um, yeah. Walk away. Leave the unhealthy situation and en enjoy the new doors that open. Okay? That's your first card there. Why are you doing this to yourself? This group, why are you doing this to yourself? Why? You're doing something, you're beating yourself up. Why are you beating yourself up? Come on. Light. This group of people is beating themselves up. Why are you beating yourself up? You need to stop beating yourself up. You need to stop beating yourself up. I've got to be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. Okay? Be gentle with yourself. Walk away from this unhealthy, toxic situation, okay? Okay? Because sitting here in this toxic situation isn't helping you. And also you need to walk away from bad thoughts towards yourself as well. I'm seeing that this group of people is also an indigo. An indigo child. The person you are inquiring about is an indigo, meaning a highly sensitive natural born leader. So your indigos are very sensitive to emotions. Indigos are known to be empaths as well. Um, they're brought here to set the world right. I'm going to read this card right here, but I sense that this group has some major depression right now. Um, I'm actually feeling it, and that's why I burned some sage. Um, <laughs> all right. When you choose the symbol of deceit, be very careful about your motives and in your, in your making choices. In making your choices. In the house of night, there is one who has betrayed herself and all those who look up to her. And I am also warning you that someone may be stabbing you in the back. Regardless of the circumstances of your question, I warn you about deceit. There will be a price to pay for betrayal in all forms. Only you know how much it will cost. That said, although the energy of betrayal can be seductive, I am stronger or you are forewarned. Okay, so... I feel like something this deceiving may have already happened. If it hasn't happened yet, it's telling you to be cautious of somebody that's deceiving. You know who it is because you're an indigo. You're an empath. You know who is being deceiving, okay? You know whoever it is. Whoever this is that's been deceptive to you, 
You need to walk away. Okay? You need to walk away. Because I'm 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 hearing actually some very harsh words. There were there were very harsh words said. I'm hearing fuck you a lot. And wow. If people are calling you those kind of names, like really, really no. No. No, walk away if people are calling you those kind of names. You know what names I'm talking about. No. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. That shit ain't gonna fly. Uh-uh. No fucking way. Do not let people treat you like that. Absolutely do not. Free yourself from these people. Free yourself from these... Oh, wow. Wow, they really hurt you. They pissed you off. You've had enough. You're standing up for what you believe in because you are an indigo and you just had enough. It's time to walk away from them. Whoever this is, walk the fuck away because... They are just fucking with your head. They are playing mind games with you. Thank you for the confirmation. They are literally causing you to believe the worst about yourself. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh-uh. And it's also, I got heal away addictions here, okay? Now, if you're not addicted to anything, this could actually be behaviors. It's time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart's desire. Ask, ask Archangel Raphael to help you with this healing. Now, I feel like some of you, what's blocking you right now is the fact that you may be addicted to a pattern of, I'm hearing, self-sabotage. Because I have to be gentle with yourself. I'm hearing that some of you are self-sabotaging. Sitting there saying, why am I not good enough? Why do they think this of me? Why, 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 why? Okay? I am hearing a lot of whys. I'm hearing a lot of why me. No. No. We're not going to sit there and sit in why me. Okay? No. Absolutely not. Don't sit there and sit in why me. Sit there and sit in. Maybe this happened because... I need to let this toxic energy go. Maybe this happened to try and show me that this toxic energy is no longer serving me. Maybe this happened so I can try to learn who I really am. Be your true self, okay? As you allow others to know the real you, you feel love for who you truly are. Okay, so I feel like if you're wearing a mask in some of your relationships and pretending to be someone who you aren't, those people aren't going to see you and love you for who you are. You have got to be you. You have got to be you. You want to know something? I got in a relationship a long time ago where I pretended certain things. Okay? I pretended certain things. You want to know where that went? That went to he beat the shit out of me. And because of that, I ended up having to have my family help move me out and get into another apartment. Okay? So, you know, and, you know, this, it's not an option to let people abuse you like this. It took me so much healing because I was in this abusive relationship for 12 years. Now, if you sit here and sit back and stay in this abusive situation for as long as I did, you are going to realize just how much negative it brings to your life because... You sit in the negative, see this law of attraction here? You're going to see more negative. You sit in the positive, you're going to be like, wow, look at how fast that happened. Look what happened. Because relationships and activities that you once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of energy. So some of you may be going through a spiritual awakening as well. And you're starting to really see the truth of situations in other people. And I feel like you are seeing the truth in situations of other people, but it is absolutely imperative that you walk away from whatever toxic situation in and that you are gentle with yourself because you want to know something you're beautiful just the way you are don't let anybody ever tell you any different okay because let me tell you something you focus on everything that other people think about you is that satisfying you or would actually being at peace with yourself and loving yourself satisfy you. So it's very important that 
that that you try to satisfy yourself find things that make you happy that you enjoy you know it's also telling that we've got unconventionality here this card here um, your unique qualities are an important part of your life purpose. It's okay to feel different from others. So I feel like some of you are feeling kind of left out and different from others. And you're just like, because you're different from others, you seem like some of you don't feel like you fit in. Okay, well, and I'm sorry for my cursing, but like, I get very passionate about helping people. So if you don't like cursing, this probably isn't the channel for you. I get very passionate about helping people because I know it's part of my life purpose. I am also an indigo, in case you're wondering. Um, so, um, and indigos, there, there's something about us indigos that you may notice is that we really are defiant in our own way um, because we believe things should be a certain way and, you know, we see why bad things shouldn't be happening. We see, we, we are able to see what is negative and what needs to change. And that is a gift we have. And so it's time to look inside yourself and see what you need to change about yourself too. What you need to do about your confidence levels. Because indigos, yes, indigos can feel kind of left out because... You know, we are different. Indigos are different. We're meant to change the world for the better. That is what indigos are here for, okay? And I feel like you're trying really hard, okay, to make something happen, okay? You're trying really, really hard to make something happen. And it's saying stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will open for you. So instead of trying to control things, imagine whatever you're trying to manifest or whatever you're trying to make happen, already yours okay and it will come to you you've got to imagine it like it's already there um, looks like a lot of people are having manifestation blocks lately and that that's common because we just got a new new moon in Libra and it's it's time for change so um, you know you, you're trying to manifest something go check out the gem goddess on YouTube she has some manifestation block video star girl the practical witch also has some and they're very detailed so yeah Focus on that. It's also telling you to connect with nature. You're rejuvenated and inspired by spending time outdoors. So, um, you know, spending time outdoors can be very beneficial for you. Um, if you've got, like, even just a park that you can go to or something like that, it'll be great for you. Um, if you can't spend time outdoors, like, um, because it's cold out or something, I would recommend putting a plant in your house. Um, because plants are very healing. Um, it also says spend time with flowers and flower essences to increase your personal healing power. So I feel like you guys are also a healer, an empath, a healer, probably an earth angel. Um, so you may be meant to teach others about how you have healed your negativity and any, or anybody else's, um, type of like like separated yourself from negativity and what it's brought to you 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 may be meant to do that at some point in your life um you may be able to show people that so um along with the flowers rose oil really helps me with my migraines if you get migraines from being uh, around negative people it's great it's great rose oil is great for that and we've got everything you need is supplied by the infinite source of God, and your faith opens the doorway to receive. In God, there is no lack or limitation. Rather, there is there's plenty for, of abundance for all to share. Okay, so what it's saying is that, it, and if you don't believe in God and you believe in the universe, that's fine. But whatever you believe in, praying is helpful. Whatever you believe in, believe that, that the source of what you believe in has your back. They got your back. It's going to make you happen. You believe in the universe? Believe in the universe. The universe has got your back. I personally believe in God, but I also believe in the universe as well. Okay, next we've got meditation. Okay, meditation. So meditation would be extremely beneficial for you. I feel like you may get some clarity when you do some deep meditation on something that's coming. Um, and, and like I said, I do think that you're, you're going through some kind of awakening because you do got the spring card. And I feel like you're starting to um, 
see that? It's crazy how I was just talking about the full moon in Libra. And we've got the full moon card, meaning a, a, a completion of old cycles. Okay, so once you start really taking your guidance and being gentle with yourself, taking care of yourself, letting go of toxic situations, um, you know, really doing something to help your depression. Oh, you know what? You know what's great for toxic toxicity? Oh my gosh. I have a recommendation for you. My goodness. Okay. <laughs> this is great. I actually, um, I do coloring and it's actually great to relieve some anxiety and toxic energy because you're focused on just coloring in the lines on an adult coloring book. Trust me, this helps worlds. Um, it's great. Just get a gra grab some colored pencils and color. Trust me. When this when you're focused on this and not a whole bunch else, it's just like, wow, I got this. Now, um, I sometimes jam some music while I color. Oh my gosh, that's that's the best. Or I turn on one of my favorite TV shows and, you know, just color. And it's like, it really does help me. Um, let's see, what else do I think would be beneficial? Sage. Burning sage may be very beneficial to you. If you can stand the smell of sage, sage is very cleansing of negative energies. Um, sea salt baths are great as well. They detox your energy and detox any negativity that may have come onto you from other people being directed at you. Okay? So, um, yeah. Um, if this resonated, please like and subscribe. But I'm going to go ahead and move on to deck four. All right. Deck four. Oh my gosh, I picked deck four for myself too. <laughs> so um, let's see what's going on. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, school, stairs, transformation, magic, illusion, okay, yeah, oh wow, um, this group, who, if, if you chose this group, you're going through a lot right now, you're just going through this huge spiritual awakening of your third eye chakra, you may be getting visions of stuff that, that's, that's about to happen, or you're like noticing that you see stuff in your dreams and then it happens. Um, <laughs> but you're being told that it's safer for you to see the energy of love in all forms, such as angels, auras, and visions. So some of you may be getting visions um, or seeing auras and stuff like that. I will go ahead and read into the third eye chakra card for more. Um, but um, you guys are clairvoyant. Um, this group of people is particularly very, very clairvoyant. You have a message. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's, that, I think that's from my... Okay, there, there's this group on Facebook that might be beneficial to you since you're going through spiritual awakening. That's why you told me to check my phone. Thank you. Okay, so there's this group called Spiritual Awakening Group on Facebook. Let me... Let me I'll pull it up for you. Okay. I'll pull it up for you so you know which which group it is. Spiritual Awakening Group. I'll pull the group up for you so you know which group it is. It may be beneficial to you. Okay. Let me see if you can see that. You know what? I'll put the link in my bio, okay, to the Spiritual Awakening Group, okay? That's what I'll do. Okay? So I'll put the link to the Spiritual Awakening Group, not in my bio, but like, like down in the you know, in the bio of the video, I'll put, I'll put the link to the group. Um, and then also I will put the link to my, um, to, to my donations as well. If you want to donate to the channel. Okay. But that group may be very beneficial to you. They've helped me through a lot. So yeah, I would put the link in there. Okay. So I'm going to go into the third eye chakra. We're going to read the third eye chakra card because I feel like it may give more clarity. All right.
Okay. Here we go. This card comes to you in response to your questions about your future. You have visions about yourself and you wondering whether they're real or mere imagination. Well, the angels assure you that you are having accurate insights and they wish to encourage your visual spiritual gifts. You have natural clairvoyant tendencies governed by the energy center located between your two physical eyes, which is known as the third eye chakra. The angels send clairvoyant messages to you perceive that that you perceive in your mind's eye as shapes, colors, mental movies, dreams, and so forth, or you may receive their messages via your physical sight, such as a recurring number sequences, one 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 four four four, and so on, lights and moving objects, or through signs and symbols, including feathers, rainbows, clouds, and coins. The angels wish to help you fully awaken your third eye and understand your psychic visions. They're guiding you to notice and trust all that you see with your inner and outer vision. Okay. So and then I'm going to go into the clairvoyant because obviously it talks about clairvoyance as well. Some of you are suffering from migraines and dizziness. Woo, yeah. Some of you guys are suffering from migraines and dizziness. One sec, one sec. Oh my goodness. Where's my lighter here? <laughs> All right. Yeah, wow. Oh, yeah. Some of you are suffering from migraines and dizziness. Low blood sugar, some of you. Low blood sugar, migraines, and dizziness. Some of you have diabetes. Because I'm actually being prompted. <laughs> this, is, this is crazy. I've, I've never had to do this in the middle of a reading ever, like pull a snack, because I'm feeling low blood sugar ever. Um, so some of you are really suffering from some dizziness and migraines. Um, Maybe a lot of anxiety. Oh my gosh. Wow. What I'm feeling from this group. <laughs> yeah. Tend to your low blood sugar, please. If you're having low blood sugar issues and you're not eating enough, make sure you're eating enough. Um, these are a great little snack to take with you. They're like the GIF power-ups. Um, I get the strawberry and peanut butter. Mm. My goodness. I actually had to eat something because I'm actually shaking from the low blood sugar feeling. Wow. Wow. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna look for the you are profoundly clairvoyant one. Maybe under the seas. No, here it is. Found it. Yeah, you're profoundly clairvoyant. The angels send you this card to help you trust the visions that you receive in your mind's eye during dream time, as well as the signs that you physically see, such as recurring numbers, feathers, coins, flashes of light, and so forth. Since the Creator is all seeing, it stands to reason that you and everyone else would inherit the gift of spiritual sight. If your gift seems blocked, it's the, the cause may be a painful past experience that the angels can help you heal and release. Now that it's the right time for you to see clairvoyantly as the blessings can be used to assist you with your healing and teaching work. Your clairvoyance also gives you continuous accurate guidance, much like a GPS electronic map in a car that guides you to the right destination. Trust what you see. Okay. I'm getting, there's, there's like a type of prayer in here called Archangel Raziel, I call upon you now, please surround me with your highest and purest vibrations of divine love to heal and release old fears connected to my spiritual sight. So, um, it's saying you, you, you can do your own prayer. It doesn't have to be this exact prayer. So you can call, call on Archangel Raziel to help heal your past fears, past anxieties, past anything, because there was something that happened in the past with somebody. I don't know who it was, 
whether it was a past life relationship or whether it was something that happened in the past, I particularly know what's blocking me at this moment. And it happens to be like a family experience that I'm not going to disclose on the internet. Okay. Your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and is helping you with a situation. So, okay. You have some spirit guides in your dreams. Maybe you guys are seeing types of animals in your dreams. Um, maybe you guys are just seeing a lot of animals or maybe you're drawn to a type of animal. Like I have four guinea pigs. Um, some of you may be drawn to horses. Some of you may just like, like looking at a certain animal or a certain insect or a certain something. They are your spirit animal. And you may be seeing signs in your dreams like last night. One of my spirit animals is a bee, so I am going to tell you about it because I feel like some of you may even see bees in your dream. Don't be scared of the bees, okay? Um, these these bees, if you're seeing bees in dreams, which some of you may, um, bees are actually a sign of good fortune and renewal coming your way. Um, it's really... I'm just telling you that something good is coming your way, <laughs> which leads me to my next card, Organize for Success. <laughs> Do not let the word organize intimidate you, as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose, organizing your thoughts, your reports, your loving and workspace, your living and workspace, and your finances will help you know and plan your next action steps. So I feel like some of you guys may need to eat, even clean your living space um yeah unnecessary worries here i'm so sorry like i said this group to me you guys are suffering from dizziness and migraines and some of you low blood sugar if you're suffering from low blood sugar and haven't gotten checked out please do some of you are going through kundalini awakening as well I am urging you to look more into it. But you have some unnecessary worries going on. Release the burdens of worries by giving them to God for healing and solutions. So if you don't believe in God and you believe in the universe, you know, that's the way you, you've got to go with it. But whoever you believe in, give it away and give those worries and fears away. Like I said, you can call on Archangel Raziel as well. And if you are concerned about protecting yourself from negative energies, call on Archangel Michael. He's there for you. You've got heightened intuition. Be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it is trustworthy. So some of you guys may be wondering if something is trustworthy in your mind. The answer is yes, very much so. <clears throat> And you've got to really be honest with yourself. This this honesty card is all about being honest with yourself. About what you truly desire. And what you truly want to do in your life. Some of you may be trying to learn something about spiritual awakening. Or learn something with something. Because we have a school card, lessons. And some of you may be learning the lesson to let go of these toxic people that may have caused some kind of issue for you because I feel like since you guys are clairvoyant you guys are definitely going through spiritual awakening and so most clairvoyant people are also empaths and um are very sensitive to emotions of, of other people and um you may even have more than just clairvoyance going on you may notice um chills going down your arms as like um, a validation that you're correct um, in something. This is the divine trying to tell you yes. It is a divine gift actually. It's called clairsendience. So if you guys are having that going on, look more into it. Look how you can control it. Learn more about it. But I feel like some of you, yes. You, you have clairsendience as well, and you guys are experiencing that. Um, you're being told to get some exercise for sure. <laughs> okay? Get some exercise. As your body gets stronger, you begin to feel stronger in all ways. So 
so I feel like exercise can also strengthen your mind and it can also help strengthen your third eye as well and choosing healthier foods like I said I'm peanut butter and granola you know healthier than uh, potato chips <laughs> yeah some of you some of you feel at peace in the water like when you're taking a bath or a shower you just feel like that's where you can kind of stabilize your emotions because you have that time alone in the shower and it's like I finally got this time alone in the shower to myself it's all peaceful and I feel like it feels like really rejuvenating to you to actually take a shower take a bath so I'm encouraging you if you don't already add sea salt to your bath add sea salt to your bath it does clear you of negative energies I'm feeling that a lot of you also with this water card do have very 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 heightened emotions um, and you're noticing other people's emotions around you and sometimes you may actually know when a friend is in need um, of your help you may just feel something like you're like I feel this emotion why am I feeling this way you like may have no reason to feel this way and then a name pops into your head and you feel the urge to, con to contact them <clears throat> that is your clear cognizance kicking in okay your inner knowing um, telling you yeah this person may need your help or something so if you have an impulse to contact somebody that may need your help go ahead and do it okay ladies man mantle mother healing alchemy so I feel like you guys have been going through some kind of healing um, through something or something's going on with your mom but also I'm just gonna go ahead and read the, the ladies mantle as well to you because I feel like it could give you some clarity on something because ladies mantle I'm getting a lot of mixed energies from ladies mantle um, I will go into depth on what kind of energies I'm getting I'm getting that some of you may have something going on with your mom I don't know what it is but some of you have something going on with your mom and like you're just like I'm hearing why doesn't my mom accept me as I am some of you it may even be a sister that is a mom <laughs> go figure <laughs> anyways uh, ladies mantle this card is calling you to take time to heal your wounds whether physical mental or emotional I will talk to you in a bit Lindsay uh -huh. From the inside out, when your wounds aren't healed, you lose life force energy. This means you might feel drained or tired all the time. Yeah, I always know who's messaging me. <laughs> Ladies mantle, a sacred herb, symbolizes the mother in all aspects, as well as healing. You're being invited to connect with your own mother, yourself as a mother, and Mother Earth. Ladies mantle is also associated with alchemy as it, it was once believed to impart wisdom on whoever came into contact with them this card is urging you to spread your knowledge to others as well share your stories and inspiration so this card can also mean that like you know maybe maybe studying like alternative medicine or like like incense or different essential oils may actually be pretty cool thing an interesting thing that may take your mind off of a lot of things going on in your life if you're having like some kind of anxiety um like I said I felt a lot of migraines going on I just felt like kundalini awakenings like we've got the stairs I'm gonna read to you the stairs because I am not familiar with the stairs card yet <laughs> and I just feel like you're turning in a new direction with the stairs something something about going in a new direction a new positive direction um, and there's there's some kind of divine timing with this new positive direction that is what I'm getting from the stairs in mine ladies mantle I am getting that you may need to heal some situation with your family as well with this past life issue maybe family maybe friend something but that's the other thing that I'm getting from ladies mantle so yeah you may need to really look into that because it might be holding you back from not healing that wound or emotional wound whatever you have Okay, um, stairs, 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 stairs. Okay, 
I'm right here. Stairs. All right. This card is here to remind you of divine timing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm not even familiar with the card. Although you might feel ready to move forward, the universe has a better plan for you. Maintain a steady and confident attitude. Continue climbing toward your goals. Stairs symbolize the direction in which you are heading on your life path. In dreams, going up the stairs means moving in harmony with your goals. As well as a spiritual expansion, going down symbolizes the descent away from your goals. Perhaps you need to begin at the base level of learning a situation, descending stairs can also reflect going deep within to clear away old beliefs. So you may need to dig deep in your emotions as well um, to find where you need to be healed the rest of the way. And taking it one step at a time, okay? Because whatever, whatever you're trying to work towards is coming in perfect timing because we got perfect timing it does say this is the right time to move forward but at the same time though it is the right time to move towards your dream know that everything happens in divine timing okay but you're going in the right direction you're going in the correct direction and you know you've also got the dragonfly here transformation magic illusion um to me this kind of feels like seeing what's illusion and what's and, and and what's what's real um, what's fear what's what's um, what's fact what's fear what's fact what's ego what's higher self you know you're deciphering this kind of thing and I feel like that's part of it you know but I will go into the dragonfly for you for some reason I was gonna say firefly maybe you guys are seeing fireflies in your dreams What does it mean to see fireflies in your dreams? According to Dream Bible, to dream of fireflies represents feelings of ingenuity, creativity, or originality that inspires you, but never lets you know it personally. Something incredible to watch that leaves you feeling that there is not much else to do with it. Okay! So, like I said, you can do something simple like that and just ask Google. So, basically, that's what... That means if you're dreaming about fireflies, which some of you may be dreaming about fireflies because the word firefly just popped up in my head. So, yeah, um, you know, you just do those things where you just say, okay, Google, tell me this. And, you know, Google tells you this. Google's great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excuse my eating, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this group was like, I had to eat. Some of you aren't eating enough. Eat. Eat enough, please. This card is reminding you to use creative imagination as a force within your life. It can transform your world. That kind of goes along with the fireflies in the dream too, doesn't it? <laughs> um, do not allow illusion to hold you back. Know that nothing is permanent or set in stone. You can change your life. Dragonfly, <clears throat> Weaver of Dreams, is a symbol of transformation and new visions. This is the bringer of light. This bringer of light also reminds you to keep your self-light carefree. Harness your light magic and allow light, divine inspiration, to illuminate your path. Nothing can stop you unless you allow it. Peek behind the veil and discover the magic awaiting for you. Now, additional meanings for this card is work with this card to see through the veil of illusions so that you may be clear on those things that matter to you most. This is an underlying purpose for the situation about which you are inquiring. Trust that all will be revealed in divine timing for the greater good. So yet another divine timing card. So I feel like for now, while you're trying to see what's going to happen, you know, you know what's going to happen because... This could be summer this year. This could be summer another time. But it really strongly feels this year. <clears throat> it says everything you're asking for becomes your, is yours in the summertime. So something that you're asking for is coming. I'm really feeling strongly this summer. Strongly this summer. Some of you are going to see a new home in the next six months. 
maybe sooner. Three to six months. I'm hearing three to six months. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so in the next three to six months, that's a rough estimate. Like I said, it could be later or anything like that. Like I said, this is a timeless, this, this, this is going to be a, kind of like a timeless reading. But yeah, it could be anywhere between three to six months is what I'm predicting. But keep in mind that everybody's situation differs. So maybe your, um, you know, it, it may come at a later time. You know, you never know. All right? Because everything can change. Nothing is completely set in stone um, right away. The, the timelines are not set in stone, okay? I'm just, I'm telling you, timelines are not completely set in stone. But you are being called to be assertive. Um, stand up for your beliefs and say yes to only what you really want to. So this is also telling you <clears throat> to be really loving in your words that you speak to others and to yourself. Um, because being assertive, excuse me, sorry, is all about being loving when you say something to somebody. So like when you sit there and you tell somebody to shut up, that's not loving. When you sit there and tell someone, okay, well, I respect that, but I believe my own thing or something like that, you know, you know, that's assertive. And then we do have travel and upcoming trips proves to be changing and positively. I don't even know if I'm going to have enough money for that trip, but <laughs> yeah, um, because I picked this deck for me, but yeah. So my friend's birthday is coming up. She's my best friend. Um, and I have to save money, obviously, to pay off my phone. I owe $420 on my phone. But my friend has this um, idea to go do some something for her birthday. And so I'm trying to manifest um, at least um, 50 bucks, you know, to have for her birthday or something like that. Maybe 100 if I can. But, you know, like I said, it will all vary on what I can can do but she wants to go somewhere her, for her birthday but first I am trying to manifest money <laughs> and so like if you'd like to help me manifest that money for my friend's birthday so that we can have an awesome birthday um, for her you you can donate um, I'll put the link in my um, under the majigger there under in, in not not in the comment box. Was it the the description box? In the description box, <laughs> Majigger, that's me. Um, it's also if you go straight to my YouTube channel, um, right above the subscribe button. Of uh, if if you're mobile, you have to go to um about section. Go to the about section, and it'll say links. I have my Instagram labeled under there as well. If you want to follow me on Instagram. And then um, I'll have the donation link as well under there for Donate Blessings. If you're on computer, obviously you can go to Donate Blessings and just donate if you'd like. I'm not asking you to donate. I'm just saying if you'd like to donate, I would appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Um, it's also saying goodbye to the old and hello to the new. You've finished a part of your life and now a new and even better part is beginning. So what's happening right now for you? Is I feel like you're coming to this end end of a cycle that's going to re bring some kind of revival and like if you're wondering about a relationship situation here that maybe have maybe for some of you you felt like it fell apart some of you maybe you're in separation or some of you you're just trying to um, you know manifest more romance you know, yeah, it's coming. And if you're in a current relationship, healing energy surrounds it. If you're wondering whatever situation is bothering you right now, whatever situation you're in, just know that healing energy is surrounding the situation because you've reached out for it. I felt that you guys have actually reached out for it. You are merging into a new cycle. This is all about like emerging. And this, this is also emerging into your true self. You've got to be your true self. And if you are trying to manifest romance, an abundance in the romance you need to visualize it as if it's already there um so like how can i explain this okay so 
All right. Let's see if anybody like that ends up <laughs> watching this. Okay, so what I do is sometimes I'll visualize things already happening in my head. And I'll just, like, pretend like they're happening. Like, just in my head. And, you know, the crazy thing is they actually manifest into form. So... Also, if you're really trying to manifest that abundance, go check out um, the Gem Goddess on YouTube and Star Girl, the Practical Witch. They have some great manifestation block videos on there as well. Hmm. Am I seeing anything else for this group? Hmm. Quiet. I'm... It's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern the process, your, tr your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world so that you can discern and process your true feelings and thoughts from the inner world. Okay. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. I'm sorry I'm getting incoming messages as I'm reading this out loud. That's why I was kind of like, why can't I read this? Uh -huh. So I feel like some of you will sit and kind of go into a trance-like state sometimes and just kind of stare off into space. And some of you, when that happens, you receive visions. Okay? I'm sorry, I, ha I was having incoming messages so I couldn't read the card out loud. So it's saying continue with these quiet moments where you actually <clears throat> do kind of quiet your mind and just like go into that state and quiet your mind. It's saying continue with it because it's actually beneficial and you are getting the messages that, that, that you think you're getting during those times when you're staring off the space. I do a lot of coloring. It's a very meditative state for me, and sometimes I get messages while I'm coloring. Um, for example, like, say you're drawn to color a certain picture. Let me see. That's crazy. I was drawn to color a grasshopper, okay? I decided to look up what a grasshopper means in spirituality. Grasshoppers in spirituality signify good fortune on your way and good luck coming your way. I was also prompted on my Instagram to post a grasshopper um, saying I'm bringing you good luck. Expect miracles. Okay. So I am telling you right now. Your mindset, right now, this is the reason why I told you about the grasshopper. It's because it held a hidden message from, from, from your guides and from my guides. Organized for success, already see it there. Because that good fortune is on your side. Organized for that success. See that success because it's coming. It's already there. It. Even if you're not seeing the results yet... Even if you're not seeing the results yet, you will see them soon. Um, can I get a romance angel for the people looking for romance in this deck, please? Or the people in a romantic relationship? Oh, thank you. Okay. Wow. Yes. Well, you are really trying to manifest this, aren't you? Okay. The one thing that's your problem here is you're deceiving yourself with thoughts of fear. No one is wearing a mask. What's going on is you are deceiving yourself with fearful thoughts. That's what they want you to know. That's the one thing that's blocking you. You're deceiving yourself with fearful thoughts. Stop. Because this is what you're trying to manifest. Passion and marriage. You want to know what? I'm getting chills as I'm saying this. 
I'm actually coming to tears because I'm getting chills. I'm actually seeing visions. Organize for success. Weddings are coming for a big amount of the people that chose this group. Okay, and they're going to be beautiful and they're going to make you super happy. They're actually, you're, you may actually break out of, out of tears. Man, it's like I'm actually feeling the happiness of what is coming to you. What they, what these guides are saying is coming to you. It's like, my goodness, and I can actually, I'm actually predicting that there may be a few tears on this reading by seeing what you're manifesting and actually knowing that it's manifesting. My goodness. My goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is a beautiful read. But the only thing holding you back is unnecessary worries and fears, okay? Um, so if you have a toxic situation, kind of relieve yourself from that toxic situation. My goodness. I'm sorry, like... There's so much good coming. I actually picked this deck for myself, too. But I'm also seeing that there's so many beautiful things for you guys coming as well. And it's beautiful. So hang on to that. Um, if this resonated with you, go ahead and give a like and subscribe. Um... If you want to follow me on Instagram, sometimes I do daily card pulls, which I plan to do a daily card pull with my newer deck, which is, um, I, that deck, the Angel Therapy deck. Um, I do plan to do card pulls. I'm going to try and do daily card pulls on my Instagram. Um, I thought about taking a card and just putting crystals on top of the cards and do pick a deck's. So, or like pick, pick, pick a card for your daily card or whatever and what you need to know. So, if you think that would be a good idea, go ahead and comment down and let me know if you think that's a good idea to put on my Instagram as well. Um, hang in there because everything that you're asking for is coming, okay? You just got to organize for success. <laughs> so, those of you that chose group four, congratulations. You are a great manifester and just... Hang in there and focus on releasing those fears and anxieties and worries. Take care. Thank you for watching.